Our Washington State uh, head swimming coach, Russell Whitaker, uh, back at Gibb Pool. Big, uh, big weekend for you guys uh, at, a, at a Colorado road trip. Uh, you guys uh, beat Colorado State on Friday night, and then you turn around and beat Denver and Air Force uh, on Saturday. 4-0 uh, for the first time uh, since 2010 and 2011. So uh, a good start for you guys. What worked well on that road trip? Yeah, I think it was really helpful on uh, with Colorado State getting to have that tough competition um, Friday night and really getting us, I think, a little bit more motivated to get up and go on Saturday. Um, Colorado State, they've got just a great team. Woody, again, just another phenomenal coach and a mentor for us already coming into the Mountain West. He's been very helpful for me. But coming in, and they definitely gave us a run for our money, and we definitely had to make some more, I think, adjustments when it came to um, that confidence and the attitude standpoint and making sure that we weren't overlooking Colorado State. So I think that one, I do think we were a little bit lucky to come out on top. I think we did a lot better at the end so I think talking with the team of making sure that we approach the front half of the meet a little bit faster and just really again we keep saying the winning is contagious and again we saw that on Saturday um, and that we need to start off strong and carry that momentum through so I don't know that we did that as well at Colorado State we finished the meet a lot better um, and still snuck out of there with the win and everything so we're really happy with that um, but yeah, so Colorado State was a good one and then Denver and Air Force that next day um, I don't know that we could have asked I think for a little bit more I think that was that was finally what we wanted to see. I think that to us was that was the expectation that we've been needing to see out of this team with what they're capable of. So a lot of events going one, two, even one, two, three in. Um, and so that was a really dominating performance by the girls um, against a great Denver and a good Air Force team as well. Um, so really happy with that. A uh, couple of milestones you guys set for uh, pool records at Colorado State on Friday and then on, on the Denver and Air Force uh, those wins, a lot of new faces. So uh, what kind of some uh, new faces, some some people that stood out to you on this road trip that maybe stepped it up a little bit? Yeah, I think again, we're seeing the really good consistency out of Emily Lundgren and Doria Thaws, you know, both setting pool records against Colorado State. And that was good to see out of those two um, and just continuing to keep that standard up. But I think you looked at, again, when we get to Denver and Air Force, um, a lot of new faces up there. I think I mentioned in my last um, chat with you, but Victoria Palika, um, that was finally the sum that we've been waiting for. Her win in the 200 back, that was so much needed to see that happen. And then again, to have her lead a one, two, three between her, Anna, and Ariel in that 200 back was awesome. So there was a great performance from that. Emma Wright just continues to dominate in the freestyle events. I think that was by far her best performance, going lifetime best. We don't even have a tech suit on. And so that was really exciting to see the leadership that she brought forth in that meet. Um, Tatum Janning continues to do well in the distance events. Hannah Huarte had probably one of the best back halves of a thousand freestyle I think we've ever seen. And so just again, I think we expected, I think again, finally the bare minimum of what we're expecting out of this group and what they're capable of, they're finally hitting. And so just making sure that we take that same attitude, energy, and effort of what we saw Saturday and can just apply that moving forward. You mentioned all those newcomers, but there is a another veteran presence that got recognized with the Mountain West Conference, the swimmer of the week, uh, Dori Hatazi, uh, won every uh, event she can competed in competed in over the weekend uh, how about the the, the swimming uh, from your junior this past weekend yeah I think the swimming was pretty good from Dory overall as far as where we're at in the season I think we're going to be set up well for a mid-season invitational to hopefully get those NCAA qualifications out of the way early on with her I think the bigger moment with Dory actually came at Colorado State you no know, when we were at the first break her and Emily spoke with the girls as we kind of huddled up and we were addressing some of the issues we were having in the first half and her and Emily Lundgren both stepped up and spoke of you know, truly saying that the Colorado State wanted that victory more than we did. And so hearing that out of both of them, I think helped rally the troops. So that I think was the moment I was more proud of from what Dory exemplified over the weekend. I don't know that she's the most vocal of leaders on this team. And so to see that kind of coming out of her is a little bit new. Obviously she's very dominant in the pool, but I think if we can continue to see the more vocal side of her like that. I think it definitely helps rally the troops with just how much I think the girls do look up to her and do respect her as well. And finally, uh, really quickly, you guys have a couple weeks uh, a break from competition. I know the, the training never stopped but uh, back at home in, in a couple weeks. Uh, what's the goal? What's the focus before the next home meet? I think right now just continuing to hammer out the details. I think if we can continue to build up the endurance just a little bit more out of this group. And so right now just getting to focus on what we've learned from meets and I think continuing to apply those details into our practices and just get a little bit more, a little bit more dialed in. I think that's going to be the biggest thing that we can work on for these next three weeks here. So excited to see the work that we can put in and what we'll be able to do against Seattle U and especially as we go down to Texas A&M for a midseason invite. All right, uh, head coach Russell Whitaker, the Cougar, uh, Cougar swimming 4-0 in dual meets for the first time in nearly 25 years. Uh, thanks, coach. Go Cougs.